What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today I want to talk to you guys about the Dokkan V-Jump leak for this month that just uh, I guess leaked this morning and without further ado let's jump right into it. Now as far as the information that we can get from this image there's only really two major things that we learned. The first one is related to the five year anniversary I would assume specifically for part three of the five year anniversary and the other thing is related to the Saiyan Day celebration which is starting uh, in March. The actual day of Saiyan Day is March 18th but I assume that the celebration might start a couple days earlier. Either way it's for Saiyan Day and uh, why don't we start with the five year thing first. So I believe the five year news is this little you know, part on the bottom here, but I could be wrong because obviously I can't read Japanese. The translations that I'll be using in this video are, of course, from none other than Goresh. So huge shout out and thank you to Goresh for that. And also a shout out to I Seriously for posting this scan. So uh, as far as the five year news goes, apparently we're going to be getting a new event called like Ultimate Super Bad Road or something to that effect. And I would assume that it's going to be essentially a harder version of Super Battle Road, which is going to be super interesting because I know a lot of people out there are still struggling with the Super Battle Road stages, especially the category ones. So it's going to be very interesting to see exactly how they make this event harder without being it, without it being essentially you know, kind of impossible for a lot of people. I'm sure there's still, still going to be, you know, people out there that can be any kind of event, right? I mean, when the Legendary Goku event first came out, it was considered super hard and a lot of people were struggling, but we figured out a way to beat it. So I'm sure whatever this new event's going to be like, the Ultimate Super Battle Road event, um, you know, people are going to struggle with it initially and then eventually we'll figure out a way to beat it fairly easily. But either way, I am excited for that. Um, we have no information about exactly what it looks like. That's why I'm kind of speculating at the moment. Of course, once more information comes out in the future, I'll let you guys know in another video. But for now, all we know is that there is going to be a new Ultimate Super Battle Road for the five year anniversary um, and probably for part three, whenever that starts, right? And the other thing, of course, like I said, is related to Saiyan Day. And we have a new LR Bardock on the way, not just Bardock, actually the whole um, squad, or I guess it's called Team Bardock, right? So the entire team is going to be an LR, and at first I thought it was going to be the summonable LR for uh, Saiyan Day, because last year we had the Vegeta, right? So I was like, yeah, there's got to be something summonable, and I, I think there still will be, but this guy is actually a free-to-play LR. He's actually free-to-play, and the art looks absolutely sick. I love it. I love Bardock. You guys who have been following the channel know that he's one of my favorite characters in the entire franchise. So I'm excited for him for sure. And uh, there's also going to be a new uh, free-to-play unit of each member of Team Bardock as well. So we got the free-to-play Bardock right here. And uh, this is his uh, SSR art, TUR art. And also each member, we got Fasha, Tora, uh, Borgos, and Shrugesh down here as well. And as far as I'm aware, they're going to work very similarly to the free-to-play Ginyu Force team, right? So let's pop over to the Ginyu Force event here. And uh, just like this event, I think each member of the uh, Bardock team will have their own stage where you can farm copies of them, but also farm their own orbs to rainbow them for free. And initially when these stages first come out, they're going to release one per day. And then, you know, on the weekend, maybe we can like farm all orbs on this like one big event. But initially it's going to be one new stage per day. So let's say like they start with um, I guess whoever's AGL, let's say it's like Borgos or Tora, and then the next day it will be like Fasha stage, and the day after that it will be uh, Bardock stage, and so on and so forth, and you'll have the opportunity to rainbow each of them, and then once you rainbow all five members, you will get the LR uh, Bardock team for free, just like how you can get the Ginyu Force um, LR for free once you rainbow all five of the Ginyu Force members. So that's essentially how that's gonna work and I am really really happy that this is happening because um, for the longest time myself and also a lot of people uh, out there by comments and on streams and stuff have been talking about the fact that we should totally get a free-to-play you know Bardock team just like the Ginyu Force and now it's actually happening for Saiyan Day um, so that's pretty awesome I feel like maybe 
you know, Bandai's listening to the community or, you know, someone there just had the idea. I mean, it's not that crazy of an idea anyways, but either way, I'm happy that we're getting this. So a new free-to-play Bardock, Facha, Tora, Borgos, and Shugesh on the way. And of course, the big prize, the LR um, Team Bardock as well, or I actually think their official name is like Bardox Elite Squad or something like that, but either way, doesn't really matter. Call them whatever you want. We do have the new LR Bardock, we have the new units, we also have the ultimate uh, Super Battle Road on the way. So that is pretty much everything that this scan is telling us that's coming up for the JP side of the game. Um, of course, Global will get this stuff eventually, but for now, we're gonna have to wait. We gotta be patient. That's just how it is. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Once more information comes out about all this stuff, like what their passives are, what the ultimate Super Battle Road stage looks like, I'll let you guys know in another video, but that's all I can tell you in this one. As always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.